Hey guys, how's it going? This week I am going to be meal prepping a buffalo chicken quinoa salad. Um, so to kind of get you caught up to where I'm already at, I, because of lack of time this week, decided to go ahead and cook my chicken in the crock pot overnight last night. So I've got that cooked already and shredded and I currently have the quinoa cooking on the stove. Um, you're going to want to cook your quinoa according to the directions on the package. For me, it was um, one cup of quinoa and a cup and a half of water. And make sure you rinse your quinoa really well in a strainer before you get it in the pan. And then um, I've also got some broccoli cut up that I'm going to saute. In fact, I can probably get that going in the pan right now. And I just did about uh, three big heads of broccoli. Okay, so we're going to saute that for about five to ten minutes. Um, we want it to kind of get a little bit crispy. And then um, we're going to chop up some celery, and I've got some shredded carrots and some green onions that we're going to cut up and add to it later. So, um, again, quinoa, chicken, broccoli, shredded carrots, celery, green onions, some Frank's Red Hot, olive oil, and blue cheese crumbles. That's all you need to do this. Super fast, super easy, packed full of protein. So, get your chicken cooking, get your quinoa on, and then cut up your broccoli, get it in the pan, and I'm gonna get this celery and these green onions chopped up and then um, check back in in about nine minutes when my quinoa is done and we'll get it all put together, toss it in a big bowl and then just divide it up into our meal prep container. So super fast and easy this week. It's been a hectic week for me so don't have, didn't have a whole lot of time. Meal prep Monday quickly turned into meal prep Thursday when you're on a mom schedule. So I'm going to get this done and then I'll check back in with you guys. All right, I'm back. I've been sauteing my broccoli for about 10 minutes. About three minutes ago, I added my chopped green onions to it. And my quinoa is, should be ready to go in just a few seconds. I realized since I'm cooking this broccoli that since this is meal prepped, um, and I want to make sure that I get all of the ingredients in each one, you really want to cut down your vegetables. So my broccoli, I didn't chop it as small as I would like, so I'm actually going to cut that up a little bit more. Um, also, I put my um, chopped celery, shredded carrots, and chicken into this big bowl. So we're going to add all the ingredients to that and then toss it up and get it, get it separated out. I'm going to check on my quinoa real quick. This is all preference. There's another... Uh, similar recipe to this that I found online that uses shredded cabbage instead of celery. I decided to use celery instead. My husband's not a big fan of cabbage and I thought that the celery would give it a nice crunch along with the carrot. Um, also, my husband doesn't like blue cheese and I do. So half of these will have blue cheese and the other half will not. Let's... All right. My quinoa's actually still a little bit watery. So... I'm going to give it a couple more minutes to kind of absorb some of that water while I cut up the broccoli and add that into the bowl. Um, and so once we have all that done, then the dressing is super easy to make. So we'll come back and do that together and then we'll get it all uh, put together. Okay, our quinoa is fully cooked. I added about two extra minutes to absorb the excess water and that was plenty. Um, I've got all of my broccoli, green onions, carrots, celery, and chicken tossed in here, and we're going to make the dressing, if you will. Um, so I'm not really big on measuring stuff, as you know if you watch any of my videos, but I'm going to try to measure this because I want a good even ratio. So I'm using Frank's Red Hot, and I am going to do a cup of Frank's Red Hot with about a half a cup of olive oil. That's broken, my daughter dropped that out of the fridge, so. <laughs> I don't know why I'm screwing that lid, it doesn't work. All right, about a half a cup of olive oil. 
and then just some salt and pepper. So, not much to it. I like to use Himalayan pink salt or sea salt, whatever one I have at the time. Use some salt and pepper. And if I had room in my bowl, I would probably put the quinoa in there and mix it all up, but I don't. So instead, I'm going to layer it. I'll put some quinoa in each of my meal prep containers and then top it with the chicken mixture. Um, and then it's kind of up to you too if you want to toss the dressing in with it, which is what I'm going to do, or you can just spoon it on the top. Oh, hi Onyx. Um, so yeah, so we will get started with that process. I guess I'll use this. So some quinoa in each of the containers. I'm just doing about a half a scoop. This is going to be really filling, um, and it'll keep you full for long because this has a lot of protein in it. Between the quinoa and the chicken, you're getting good plant based protein and meat based protein. If you're a vegetarian you can even do it without the meat or use some kind of tofu instead. Make it a little bit more even. All right. And then I am going to, and I used about um, five chicken breasts. So this is more than enough for 10 servings. I think if I were to do it again, I might even cut down to four chicken breasts instead of five but I had it and it needed to be used, so I used it all. So we'll just get that in there really good. And my chicken is nice and juicy from the crock pot. There's still some juices in there, um, which is good because you don't want it to just absorb that dressing right away. And you, want it, you want to be able to get the dressing through the entire bowl. If your chicken's really dry, then nobody likes dry chicken. Let's be honest. All right. So that looks pretty good to me. Struggling this morning. Okay. So this is what my mixture looks like. Broccoli, carrots, celery, green onions, and chicken. And I am just going to... Scoop that onto the top of the quinoa and then throw some blue cheese crumbles on top of it. And that's it. So I'll do that quick and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so I have them all put into the containers. I'll show you. This is um, one with the blue cheese crumbles on it. This does not like look that good. It would probably look more appealing if it were mixed with the quinoa. Um, but you know, because I couldn't, I didn't have enough room in my bowl and I layered it. You can't see the quinoa, but, and then, um, without any blue cheese crumbles, these are going to be my husband's. Um, and I definitely could have done it with four chicken breasts. This is the amount that I have left over, which is kind of a lot. Um, that's definitely a, at least a full chicken breast in there. So... If you're making the same amount, I would recommend maybe cutting back on the amount of chicken. Um, I think that the quinoa and all the veggies were, that was a good quantity, but the chicken could have cut back on a little bit. So, but that's okay. I'll probably end up saving this and this could be great in a sandwich or a wrap or even throw it um, in some tortillas and make a quesadilla, buffalo chicken quesadilla. That kind of sounds good. So... That's it. Super fast, super easy. I think 
that took me maybe like 20 minutes total to do and now we've got meals for the whole week that are super healthy packed full of protein and also packed full of flavor so I hope you enjoy if you try it and you like it let me know if you have any suggestions I'd love to hear those too have a great week